How's it going? Welcome. Welcome. I forgot I had my microphone like turned off because of reasons. Uh, don't worry about that, but like, you can hear me now. How's everybody doing? You see this chat widget? This isn't streamer elements anymore. That's something I made. That's my own. <laughs> uh, so I'm free of stream elements now. Hi, Dane. How's it going? Welcome. Candy Fluff also says hi. And since I made it, I made it like if I say anything there, it shows my name as Enma and not as like Enma that I. So like, whoops, I forgot one T, but you see what? Right, there it is. <laughs> I have it filtering my username to just show Enma. Because fuck it. Tess, shut up, all right? Dude, I want to play Cult of the Lamb again. I should like set up a Cult of the Lamb stream sometime. The Elder Scrolls. Oh my god, you fucking nerds. Of course. Anyway. This is, uh, I've never played this game. I just know it looks cool. I don't know if you guys have played it at all. Oh yeah, another thing I'm doing right now is testing multi-streaming, by the way. Like, I'm on Twitch as, uh, right now at the same time. Uh, in this chat, this chat widget that I made, by the way, should pick up the chat from both sources and show it on screen. Yeah, dude. So check out the, the Twitch right now. It should be up. Yeah, there you are. Yeah. Wait, did you just resub? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, there's Dane too. Uh, apparently my alert system is not working properly. Uh, hold on, let me re... I don't know if this actually works if I play it again here with stream elements, because like it's not connected to stream elements anymore, so it probably doesn't work. Uh, but let me see if this is working now. Uh... Did I break some? I might have broken something. Nope. Okay, I just forgot to restart the widget before starting the stream. Whoops. <laughs> I should have just done restart all widgets. Um. I'll refresh the dono one. Might as well. Oh, no, it glitched. Sometimes it glitches like that. And it goes super slow. But I can I can fix it by um restarting on OBS directly instead of restarting it from uh, the server for some reason. Now you can have the chat stuff on Twitch, but the quality of YouTube. Yeah. Also, um. Although this only works for me and Candy Floof, because like right now I'm using the um, Stream Elements cli chat client. Not Stream Elements, the streamer bot chat client. And this chat client lets me send messages to both places at the same time, like the same message. But I also program my chat widget to detect when there's a duplicate message from the two accounts and only do like only display one of them. So like if I type something here, it should just like it should go to both Twitch and YouTube chat, but it would only show once on my widget, which is nice. I've been doing a lot since I haven't been streaming. You like the blue name? Yeah, I set it up so it takes the colors from uh, Twitch as well for the names. And if it's on YouTube, it just does default to pink. Uh, I was thinking maybe I could do something cool where people who could register like custom colors for their YouTube names. Um, I haven't done that yet, but like that's an idea I have. That's going to take some figuring out, but you know. Yeah, something like that. I think, though, if you wanted to do that, I would do it with like you would have to use hex colors instead or maybe HLS. I, I, I'm going to say I'm, I'm partial to like I'm partial to HLS. But um, everybody uses hex values, so I probably would use the hex value instead. 
Hex or HL HLS. Yeah, HLS is more human readable, you know? Also, as an artist, I'm used to HLS when mixing colors on, like, any art program. It's just more comfortable. <laughs> like, I understand how Hex works, but, you know, HLS is more easily readable. Anyway, I'm just stalking. Uh, new game. So, like... I'm, I'm, since like my, my hand is like hurt or my arm actually. And, and it's mostly like keyboard. I think I've been staying away from the keyboard as well. Not as much as I should because I've been programming. Um, but that's why I haven't been streaming because I want to stay away from like gaming and stuff. But I figured maybe a controller game won't be as bad on my hand. You know, especially, I think this one is supposed to be pretty chill. So. Hope my injury gets better. Uh, me too, but I don't think it's going to, actually. I think this is just something I'm going to have to live with. <laughs> Unfortunately. Because, uh... Anyway. This game, I know this game looks pretty. Controller disconnected! What? Oh, no. Oh, let me con connect it to the other... Oh my god! What happened to my hand? I think I've just been like... I've been putting too much stress on it with like... Using the keyboard too much the last week or so. Because I was doing a ton of stuff. I was working a lot. I think that's what happened. Some repetitive motion or something. Dude, we're missing this! Because the controller is not being detected. What the heck? Hold on. I I connected it to like this other um USB on Twitch and on YouTube. Yeah. But you can you can come to whatever platform you like. Doesn't matter. Let me let me go again. Because we're missing the cutscene. Cause uh USB is annoying. Double stream? Yes. The one thing I don't have on my chat though, uh, unfortunately, is it doesn't parse emotes. Um, at least not yet. Definitely let that rest up, though, know, like you would have fingered that doesn't open all the way anymore. Yeah. All right. I exist in both both uh, areas now. You know what? I, if I'm gonna be doing this, um, the next thing I probably need to work on is like a a widget that keeps track of everything that happens, like all the events, like re like follows and stuff like that. Because like with stream elements, I can only f track one platform at a time, right? Candy Fluff is tracking both all the time. So, like, I already have all the data I need. I just need to make put it into a widget so I can just look at it uh, while streaming. Oh, now Gorky's on YouTube. I could go full screen. I don't know if I want to go full screen because I think part of this game is just it looks pretty. So I kind of want you guys to see everything. My toes there's two Gorkies now. There's also two candy flutes and two me's. Because if a candy flute says something, I'll... it would show up on both chats. Oh, I don't have the speaker bot on, so the text-to-speech is not working. I just realized. This is a very impromptu stream, by the way, I guess. You guys can tell. Uh, let me get the TTS thing on. This face... I'm sure the game wants me to go towards the face. I mean...
I like how the animation is in, it's in like twos or something or threes. Like the game is running really smooth, but the animation is like simulating low frame rate. Which, and and that combined with the fact that the jumping is the jump is so um it's it's just a little bit of like startup to it. That either tells me that this game is not gonna be very action oriented, or the developers are bad. But this game has received a lot of praise, so uh, I don't think I don't think that's the case. I think it's just a chill game. Anyway, let's try again. Deer fact. Strawberry. All right. Press A to jump. Yeah, I already figured that one out. Okay. Dude, is this just Breath uh, Breath of the Wild? <laughs> Is this Genshin Impact? You can't put a ladder here and not expect me to climb it, right? Despite the fact that the exit is down there. Wait, is that even an is that exit open? Are you supposed to be here? Is this just like Illusion of Choice? It is Illusion of Choice. All right. I thought, hey, they put two paths and you can just choose whatever. It doesn't matter anyway. That would also have been an illusion of choice, honestly, but it would have felt better. Ooh. I'm assuming there's no fall damage. Oh, whoops. Dude, I kind of want to play Breath of the Wild. <laughs> I haven't played, I haven't touched that game in a while. Hold down B to sprint while moving around. Wait, B is this button. I'm on a, I'm on an Xbox controller right now. Oops. Can I whistle sprint? <laughs> I beg scamp. That font is very similar to the font I use on most of my stuff. I don't think it's the same. It's similar though. At work today, you had a call that lasted three and a half hours? Dude, what the heck? I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully, like, it wasn't, like, a very annoying person. I can feel Jaddy smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth-bearing little grimace behind me. It was that only the angry kind? Ugh. I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. You know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? Read her like a book. What font is this? I like this font. <laughs> That's what I'm focusing on right now, huh? I really do like this font, though. It looks very similar to, like, Hose of Finn, which is the font I use, but I know it's not because the E is different. Uh, quite different. It's a little chunkier, too. The W is also not 
the same, although you c there's no W's on my screen right now. Font. Yeah, it's a little chunkier. And yet... I shrug, but any attempts to add casual are fruitless. The movement is jerky, and I don't think I've ever been more aware of my little shoulders. She laughs. I mean it! But I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you started, and then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. You were so afraid your hands were like little claws gripping onto me. I feel the memory in my fingers. But then I promised you it was going to be all right. I told you how much I had loved riding my bike as a young uh, woman and how wonderful the wind felt through fabric. I like... I'm still looking at the font, dude. <laughs> That's all my brain is focused on right now. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. I just really like it. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down, you leaned forward and put those little grasping claws on the handles and you were off. I, I probably, you know, I've, I'm going to be like, honest with you, I went, I've been looking for a new font for all of my stuff. Because like, there's, I like the font I use right now. Like, I like it a lot, but there's some technical issues with it because of how it's rendered. And I've been trying to like, I've been trying to look for a different font that hits the same spot for me. Like, it hits the same, but like, doesn't have those rendering issues. I found one candidate, but I'm not sure yet. Calibri, but if it had soul. <laughs> I wanna I wanna email the developers to say well, dude, hey, what's the font you use in your game? I like it a lot. <laughs> can can you send me the the file? Oh, it's it's getting late because I'm just here distracted talking about fonts. Some random dude asking about fonts. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. JD reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. I changed my mind, I'm staying. I don't know where to start. JD's story warms me, but I feel too overwhelmed to let it settle. I tell her with a sigh that I don't know where to begin. She chuckles. Well, I can help with that. You'll need to talk to Hilal and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike, and Hilal will share something, well, let's say as useful as it is fun. Hmm? I think I might suspect what JD's saying, but I stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. What if I choose the wrong path? I ask JD what will become of me if I choose the wrong path. There are no wrong paths, Sable. All right, once. I'll be glad if you choose to stay with the Ibexi, but the truth be told, I'll be glad no matter what, so long as you are happy. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. So don't try using me as an excuse to hung home early, eh? <laughs> she knows me. Now go speak with Hilal. I'll be there if you s to see you off. And speak to Driss as well. I've told him to arrange her bike with Sizo, but you know how she, how he is. It's just nice watching the best of your plays. Play game and eating food. I'm gonna be sleeping soon. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I started kind of late. Again, this was very impromptu. This is, I've been going crazy, dude, because I'm so used to just streaming, and I have been doing it for like a week, and I'm like, man, this fucking sucks. I'm bored. You gotta get up at 6 a.m.? Yeah. And like, even like, I'm like, I can't even like just play games on stream. I guess I like, can, but like, not the games. Like, I cannot play Sar. I cannot play TF2, those fine herds. Because I don't want to play those games because of my, my hand. I guess I can play like Slay the Spire and stuff, right? I probably should probably. That, that's a game I should probably be playing right now. Because that's like a one-hand game. So I've been thinking maybe I can stream like one-hand games, you know, like Pokemon and stuff like that. Like any JRPG, really. 
Uh, and just stuff like that. And visual novels. May who knows? Maybe we'll find another banger like fucking Raptor Boyfriend. I wasn't expecting that game to be so good. I thought it was just gonna be a fucking meme. It was great. <laughs> uh, you'll throw Talisman to me if I want for passing time off stream. I have it? I think. Do I have it? Raptor Boyfriend was cunt. It was so good. I don't remember. I might have it. I don't remember, dude. But we, we do have, like, don't we have um Steam Chair? So, like... Yeah, if I don't have it, I can just nab it from from your library. <laughs> anyway, uh, I already read that. I have something to give you, a compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I used on my gliding. An artifact, you might say. You see, Paleo Pines developers, this is how you do when you just want to drop a player into a, a fucking, you know, a new place with no minimap or anything, compass. I love Paleo Pines. I'm still upset at the fact that it doesn't have a, a compass like on the HUD at all. If you don't have a compass, you need to have a minimap. Period. All right. If you're a 2D game, it's fine, I guess, like a, a side scroller, like Hollow Knight and stuff, because it's easier to keep track of where you're going on a 2D plane like that. But you know, in a 3D environment, where the camera can move all over the place. It's nice to have a compass to at least know what direction I'm facing. And then if I read a map, and if I look at a map and I can tell, okay, I need to face somewhere or whatever. Oh, by the way, Foof. What the heck? Um, roulette is a thing, but okay, that only works on YouTube, right? I keep forgetting that it's a thing. I, I coded the roulette system a million years ago on for the floof system on YouTube, and I never talk about it, but it's there. You guys can bet floof and like maybe earn some more or like lose it all. I don't know. Did Scully have a moment? I think. Oh, look at that. You won. Don't do it again, because you're going to lose. <laughs> Let's go, dude. We win those. Uh, anyway, compass. I take the device in my palm. If it's naturally there. Perfect. Oh, oh, my God. Hey, bits? why not? Hey, why not? Honestly, thanks for the bits. It also lets me see like my how my notifications are working, right? Uh... Especially because I'm doing the, the multi-stream right now. I, I, I want to see, I want to make sure everything is working properly. The notifications, the chat. I know the chat is working properly now because you guys are all over the place. It seems bogged. What do you mean? Because you lost? Or is the math wrong? Oh! No, it's fine. It's all right. The math is fine. You keep losing? Well, yeah! Dane! You want to look at the source code? It's obviously rigged for, for winning to be less common than losing. Right? Obviously. It's gambling. Come on. <laughs> It's working exactly as intended. <laughs> you ended up win. Anyway. Uh, it fits naturally there. Perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible satisfying precision. Thank you. Bumper. You see how hard it is to give your player a compass. It even has waypoints. I like this. I like this compass a lot, actually. I like this compass design. I like how the waypoints work. That's a pretty cool compass. If you roulette all and win, then you will be. 
What, crying? If you lose? Whoops. As I approach Hillel, they give me an enthusiastic wave. I know I don't see them waving. What? I've always appreciated Hillel's verve and a figure. What is verve? Just like because of of I assume it's just like being willing to do things or something. And on a day like this, I'm ready to match it with a touch of nerves or balance. Sable, tag, take this. Oh my god, what are you guys doing? <laughs> you guys just messing with the, the flu fruit now? Hilal hands me a small round stone. As it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth, not borrowed from Hilal's hands, but emana emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and find it softly electric, like static on cloth. What's this? I try to sound less confused than I am, but ask Hilal what this is. Oh, Sable, you can't leave- uh, Tia Fate? What? What do you mean Tia Fate style? Oh, you want to know something else cool about the fact that I control all my witches now because they're all made by me now? But if I do this, it's gonna, it's gonna uh, delete the chat, but I want to show it off. So since I know I have full control of, of how everything looks, if I switch my game to... to Super Animal Royale, the font is gonna change to the Super Animal Royale font in chat as well and everything. Look at the chat. <laughs> Look at the, at the donation widget. And when I go full screen, it's still the Super Animal Royale stuff. It's really nice. But obviously, like I said, when I do that, it resets the, the widgets. Oh, their Lucar is a faker. Yeah. Oh, Sable, you can't leave without it. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell Hilal that I feel... Fussiness? Electricity? Then you're doing it right. What you feel in that stone is... Openness. I look at the stone, it seems quite closed. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you, for you to channel. Right now it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Hilal claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. As I'm about to leave, Hilal stops me. Good night, Tanner. Oh, you haven't gotten your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple, uh, so go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? I remember JD's words now and tell Hilal I'll go and see Driss. Quest log. Alright. Do, do, do. You know, I haven't even tried to interact with any, like, objects and stuff. Can I interact with this? I can. Logging in. Hello, Sable. On read messages, zero. Have a good day. <laughs> Alright, thanks. It's it's not it's not day, it's night, dude. You should know that. Whoa! Okay, I don't think there's fall damage. Yo! What's this? Throw! Oh, but it doesn't break. Oh. I was really expecting just it to break like in Breath of the Wild. 
Alright. Umar is a man of a few words. And he's nothing if not consistent. Maybe he should go to bed. It looks like it's nighttime, you know? Man, these stars are big. I wonder if I'll get, like... Any sort of cool power-ups later on. I'm assuming I'm gonna be getting, like, Breath of the Wild style, like... Stamina upgrades. Ooh! This ambiance is nice. Very chill. This is uh, right now. This is one of those games that makes me wish I was the one like outside, like you know, taking a hike or something. There's no like nice places to go for a hike uh, where I live, though. Unfortunately. I probably would walk way more if there were. I already walk a lot. All the time. But... I would probably do even more. <clears throat> like, you're forgetting I can run, but like... Probably doesn't make that much of a difference because I have like no stamina right now. This is taking a while. Wait! I was supposed to pick the bike first. I thought this waypoint was telling me where to pick my bike at. I'm at the temple. I just realized. This is why it took so long to get here. I'm not supposed to be here without my bike. I don't think so. I can. You know what? It was all right. It was a, it was a nice like little hike, whatever. I definitely need to go get the bike later, though. Oh, what's this? Little guy! Chum egg? Chum egg, offered out by chums when planting themselves into the ground, perfectly smooth and hard as a rock. These eggs seem to float with how light they are. There must be a good place to deliver these. Chum... Egg... Chum... Chum... <laughs> oh my god. Dude, it's the Mothman! What the heck? You know what this looks like? Fucking... This looks like something out of, like... One of those... Some old, like, Hanna-Barbera, like, action cartoon. Like, adventure. Like, fucking... Um... Space Ghost, or, like, fucking... What was the... The... The, the, the one with the little blob guys and... The Herculoids, or something like that. I don't even know if you guys know even what I'm talking about. I'm fucking old. Okay. Definitely was not expecting that, dude. How are we getting out? I don't think I have enough stamina to climb all the way back there, so... I guess we're trapped now. I guess this is where we die. 
the part where we die. You know what's bothering me right now? Oh, that's cool. That's a nice idle animation. Wait, is it an idle animation or did I just press a button that made me do that? I think that's just an idle animation. Yeah. I was pressing buttons because like, I, I noticed that there's no button that just like resets my camera back to like facing the front, which is annoying. What is this humming? There's something around. Chum egg. <laughs> the stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. I'm afraid? Am I afraid? Exhilarating? Or maybe it feels right. I am ready for Rohana to know me. <laughs> yeah, dude! Do it, chum egg. <laughs> yeah, dude. I should add, you know what? I should add that to like the... The gotcha on Candy Floof? That's what I should do. Speed my weed right now. <laughs> anyway, I'm ready for Ohana to know me. I am ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in this sacred place. I know I am in her sight. I like the synth. Can I get the synth patch? Another thing to email the developers about. Ooh. Man, this game is so cool looking. Is this gonna be like the <laughs> the towers from Breath of the Wild? Is this what this is? The first tower. Oh, I don't like the. The choice of black text in this area. Bad, 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 bad. Ooh, nice. You know, the worst part about the I was about to make a joke about me getting a glider just because of how I keep comparing this to fucking Breath of the Wild. I didn't say it because I'm like, man, it's probably getting really annoying that I keep comparing this to Breath of the Wild. First thing that happens. Right after I think that. Oh, just press A to glide. Yeah. My goodness. Oh, wait. Yeah, right. I need to hold it. <laughs> I keep just instinctively pressing uh, L to try to reset my camera. Or R, either one. I'm pressing both. Cause like one doesn't work and my fingers just want to press the other to see if one of them works. But I like, you know, I know in my, in my brain and my conscious brain that it doesn't work, but the instinct is still there.
Well then, we need to find my, my bike now, because like, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to have my bike to come here, not, not just walk all the way over here. Also, this has like no stamina drain, so I can just do this. Which is kind of funny to me. I'm going pretty fast, actually. You just can't tell because we're so high up. Like, we already made, like, halfway there? Not quite, but still. That's decent enough. What's up here? This, this texture just looks like, you know what it looks like? A hamburger buns. It even has like the sesame seeds, dude. <laughs> oh, this track sounds just like fucking um, Tetris effect. Oh my goodness. This would fit right on Tetris Effect. Or like Meteos. Dude, the, the soundtrack for Meteos was a banger. You guys ever play Meteos? It was like a... A puzzle for the, the DS. The original Nintendo DS. I loved that game. Well, I loved that when I was a kid, when I played it originally. I don't know if I would like it nowadays. I haven't touched it in forever. You Googled it and you saw it a lot in stores as a kid? Yeah. Man, I remember when, when the... When I first got my Nintendo DS, that was like, that was one of the games that I wanted to get specifically. And you know what? I enjoyed it a lot when I was a kid. So I guess it was a good decision. Anyway, I need to find my bike. I don't know where I was supposed to get it from. I I know I'm an Ibex like I I know they told me but I keep getting distracted by the the fonts and shit You see like the black text looks fine here not in the dark area Yo, can you remind me where to get my bike? Oh, it's probably there, right? As she looks out across the landscape, Seki's shoulders sag a little. I wonder what she's thinking about. I don't think she looks very tired. Ah, uh, what are you looking at? Seki's voice is weakly incredul incredulous. I don't know how she's done it. That's Celari over there. I follow her gaze to a little speck in the distance, which I now understand is her daughter, Ilaria. Does she need help? Zeki shakes her head. No, she's fine. I'll get her. I'm just... She shrugs. Parenting? I suppose I'll know more about, what that, about that when I'm older. Oh, bird. Bird! Bird! Can I pick this up? I can open it. Hey, I got f I found 20 monies. I'm assuming that's currency. I'm not sure. Zizo looks busy. I should leave her to it. Hey, El I did not mean to climb. No! I wanna 
go over there. What? You're not a person, are you? The balloon was more fun than the person in it. What? I want to be a carnogrammer too. When I go gliding, I'm going to be a climber. I approached the cartographer. Ah, greetings, child. I saw you looking longingly at my great balloon. Quite a piece of work, isn't she? Longingly? I clarify that I was looking curiously and that balloons aren't exactly my ideal vessel. The newcomer shrugs. Fair enough. I suppose when you can ensconce yourself in a peaceful little bubble and float down from the sky, the balloon loses some of its charm. We'll accept your curiosity. I give the balloon an approving nod since he doesn't feel too bad. <laughs> well, good to meet you and oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Jordan. That's a funny way to spell it. I tell him I'm Sable. Suppose if you've come all the way to see me, it's probably a map you're after, eh, Sable? I would love a map. Do I need a map? I would love a map. I tell the cartographer I love a map. Of course you would. That would be 50 cuts. To my ears, it's a fair price for a map, but too expensive for a pre-gliding glider with my empty pockets. I tell Jordan I'll be back. I'll need to ask JD for some money. Farewell, child. I, I did find 20. Can I not get up here? Oh yeah, I can. I cannot climb this? Oh, boo, 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 boo. Uh... Yeah. I need to get my freaking bike. Dude, it was right here! Ah, oh, Madami! Though I've told myself not to be too eager, it's all I can do not to race up to Driss. Driss is a camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful or has some custom feature. What will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore or will I get used to it? Driss turns with a bit of a start. Sable! Um, hello. Uh, I was told you have something special for me. I tell Driss that I was told he had something for me. Something special? I nod very meaningfully, but he doesn't seem to get the hint. I make a leading gesture, slowly, trying to be perfectly cool and confidential. <laughs> but I can't do it. I'm too keen, and the words spill out. I ask Driss if he might sort of possibly may I have a bike for me. <laughs> Your bike! He yells it like it's an idea he's just had. Your bike! Yes, of course, right, yes, your bike. That I was meant to, you know what, I, I, I want to imagine this guy has Kronk's voice. <laughs> <laughs> Just because of how he's reacting right now. Uh, hold on. <laughs> I just saw the DM you sent me, Dane. Chum egg. Yeah, it's your bike. That I was meant to... That I prepared for you! <gasps> he didn't do it! Because today's your... Gliding, yes. Driss not so long with me. Yes, of course, right! Yes, yes, I, I do have that. My blood runs cold. Has he forgotten? By which I mean I arranged it for you and, um, well, it's sort of a tutorial for you. <sighs> Did you forget? I'm telling you, I didn't forget. I just made different arrangements. You see, Sable. <laughs> Dude, I, so far, I'm loving the writing in this game. Oh, Jude. Oh, you see, Sable, before one can own their 
own bike. They must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. I think about it and find I've never heard of that part of the gliding, but Driz does seem earnest. Sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. That looks like shit. Driz gestures to the sand cutter at his side. It's quite old and a little shabby. A tester if I ever seen one. Uh, what's the bike's name? Driz seems scandalized. That's a bit personal, do you think? Just sand cutter will do for now. Oh, what the fuck? Why did you name this bike, Driz? Why won't you tell me? Youngsters these days always asking questions. Now, ride the bike through the ring and back. And here's some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off. Yeah, thanks for the advice. <laughs> You're not riding it. Uh, your hover bike will appear, whatever. All right. Oh, uh, strafe? Yo. It's kind of cool. Ooh, this bike kind of sucks, doesn't it? Don't tell I said it sucks. Don't tell him I said it sucks. Whoop. Yo, Driss. I returned to Driss, who somehow managed to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Sable, congratulations. How was your first pre-glide ride? Any strange rattles, unexplained hissing, small fires? Uh, what do you mean, fires? Surely you'd notice if you were on fire even a little bit. Uh, y was that a possibility? Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Driss, is the bike dangerous? Well, he doesn't finish. Have you already been to Hilal? Y yeah. Am I not getting a bike? Well, you're getting the end of the sand cut. You're getting the use of the sand cutter. That's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands? And he's like got something to show you, too. Help you out with more of that uh, mobility you're after. When my confidence in this exercise only lightly tarnished, I thank Driz very much for his help and his bike, and I depart for Hilal. Well, so much for me getting that bike. I was complaining about earlier. I guess I was not. Uh, it didn't really matter. Oh, little creatures. Yo, what are you guys? You're funny. You, you're funny looking. I keep pressing the jump button when I'm trying to run. I don't know why, because like usually I do have the run button on like not on on the down like the the south button. I don't. I prefer my south button to be jump, which is how this works. So I don't know why I keep pressing the jump button. I told JD that the cartographer wants 50 cuts for a map of the Ewer. I tried to hatch the way I speak about this, as I'm not entirely sure whether that's too much. Not enough or precisely its value. She tells me not to worry. Here's some money to get you going on your journey. Use it mostly wisely, and then a little unwisely when the mood strikes. It's good to know the value of money if you never want to be ruled by it. I thank JD effusively and head out on my way. Purveyor and Surveyor. Wait, but didn't I have another...
Express. I'm gonna buy the um the map. Like you're trying to jump and climbing, but apparently you can't. You just fall. Where's the balloon? Oh, dude, this this airship looks like something out of Mega Man Legends. This looks very similar to the Flutter from Mega Man Legends, just a different color. Well, I mean, the flutter was not balloon powered, but. <laughs> Greetings, child. I'll buy that map. Perfect. Let's trade then. Confirm. I think Jordan for the Ewer map and all its vast possibilities. Something about this makes it feel more real. Good luck on your gliding, Sable. I still remember mine. I asked how it was. Short, I knew since I was a boy that cartography was for me, but I spent a little extra time out there just to enjoy the world. Speaking of, keep an eye out on the skies, eh? Plenty of my colleagues out there, and they'll have more maps to sell you, from aqua to sodic waste. I thank Jordan for the tip and say goodbye. Farewell, child. Fast travel. Do you even locked a piece of map? This is just the. This is literally just the um. Birth of the Wild Towers. Okay. A ceremony. Whispering stone. What is this no is that the day number of the day or is it the time? Is it ten? When I return to Hill Alex, clearly they know what I have just experienced. They're excited on my behalf in a way that makes me miss them before I have even left. Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? Ah, safe, like a warm hug. Exciting! True freedom! I tell Hilal that hovering is exciting and I'll ramble for a moment about all the things I'll be able to do when I'm out there in the world. Most of them involve me falling on my head and not getting hurt, but I'm sure I'll come up with more in practice. Right? You can do anything you want! Hilal's mood doesn't darken, but it is sigh that he let out wholesome bits of sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much. That feeling, just floating on the breeze. But I suppose it's best that I'd face with age, huh? Or else I might never have come back from my gliding. I'd just be out there heaving myself into chasms. I'll heave myself into chasms for you. I tell you I'll throw myself into a thousand chasms on their behalf and they giggle. That's what I like to hear. I know people manage to keep it up, but I don't know that I've got the time to practice as much as they do. It takes a really serious focus. It all lasts, even if there's a bit of regret in it. And I certainly haven't got that. Still, I suppose that gliding wouldn't mean much if it were all gains and no loss, hmm? I think about that, but decide that there is already too much loss on my mind to consider it much further. I'm saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, my childhood. To, to lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. You're going to love it out there, Sable. Even when you don't. My advice? Try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual and independence and all of that out there, but the world's an easier place if you just put joy first. I thank Hillel for their advice and for their help, and tell them I'll miss them. It will be over before you know it. A warning and a reassurance. All in one. 
I said goodbye to Hilal. Before I go, Hilal gestures towards the tower. It seems Zizzo wishes to see me before I leave the clan. I was already up there. Why didn't you give me the task when I was there earlier, Zizo? You piece of shit. You just ignored me. I did try talking to them, but like they're like, whatever. They didn't respond. And my character's like, yeah, they're busy. Now it turns out they want to talk with me, huh? Zizzo, it's an out cleaner. Out clanner to the Ibexi. But I've known her for nearly as long as I can recall and think of her more as a kind of distant relation than any sort of outsider. Machinists, I'm told, are given their posts and by their training and their code must go to where they are needed. But Zizzo has been among us so long that it's easy to forget it's an assignment first and foremost. As far as any of us are concerned, she's one of us. I think there is a perception among the other clans that the Ibexi are quite insular, insular or that our designation of Ibexi versus Outclanners suggests some nervous othering of those who are unlike us. But in practice, such things are more the result of her nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us and who we must leave behind, but all are welcome to join. And I'm always pleased that Zizo did. Sable, how do you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. Excited for my bike! Zizzo has a throaty quality to her voice and it rumbles through her mask when she laughs. She's quite a serious person most days and I'm always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. <laughs> Jess, JD told me how excited you were. Zizzo sniffs. She also told me Driz would be coming along to get your bike together, but I think they, he might have... I knew it. What? I hadn't meant to say that out loud, so I told her I was just clearing my throat. I don't begrudge Driz for his forgetfulness. Where I test with so many odds and ends, I might be just as scattered. And besides, this will be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hoverbike parts yourself. What? I'm going to make my own bike? Technically, shouldn't Driz do it? Zizzo taps the cheek of her mask, amused. And let him have the privilege of bonding with your bike before it's composed? No, 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 no. This is reserved for you. Here, take this. Zizzo hands me something. This is a navigator. You can use it to mark waypoints on your compass. It should be useful in finding the old parts. I asked Zizzo where I might start looking. Our bikes are reborn in the ruined ships, in fragments spread apart. A good start would be the ship down there near the camp. You'll find another up on that great rock near the other side of the canyon. And another behind the old dam on the hill. Here's your navigator to mark that down if you need. You'll need to gather a control panel, a power supply, and a calibrator. I'll be back before you know it. I tell Zizzo I'll see her soon and head off in search of the components. Together we will create something new out of the old. All right. Oh, why can I not move? Did my, con no, my controller still. Oh, it wants me to use the navigator. Okay. Once again, being reminded of Breath of the Wild. This is literally when you get the little Chica slate. And then they force you to... Well, they don't force you to use the waypoints. They tell you about it. But it's very similar. And you are ta like suggested to place three. One of these days you'll play Breath of the Wild. It's gotta be one of my favorite games of all time. Not gonna lie. I forgot where else I was supposed to go. So I'm just gonna leave that waypoint there.
will walk, play Windows in the Wall and you can play Breath of the Wall with anime mommies. Can you do like this funny like speedrun tech in that game? Oh, dude, another chum egg! One of the reasons I love Breath of the Wild as much too is just because of like all of the tech, you know, like doing wind bombing and stuff like that. It, it, like the, the base game just playing in the way it's meant to be played is fun. And it's really nice and it's really open. But once you learn to do all of that stuff, it feels so much more open, right? I don't even use it to like speedrun the game. I just use it to move around and go places and stuff. And it's so fun. There's not, there's not a ton of tech in Genshin. <laughs> yeah. We got another chum egg, dude. <laughs> Man, I always update a game that really jank just usually gets patched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess we got kind of lucky, like, all of the, a lot of the tech for Breath of the Wild was found, like, later on. You know? Because it did get- it did get patched a bit. As far as I'm aware. And for example, with, um... Uh, Mario Odyssey speedrunning, you know, they've patched stuff that speedrunners use. So, it's caused some... Some issues. There's nothing, but I think like, I don't know exactly how they're handling. Like, I think they just accept like you to play different versions of the game with different stuff. And most people prefer certain versions over others. Um, I don't know though. My, my knowledge of, of, uh, uh, Odyssey speed running is very, I, I only know a little bit of it because of, I, I watch small Ant and he does that a lot. But it's very casual, my knowledge of it. Anything stuff he talks about. If it wasn't something a typical user would run into, why bother? Yeah, I don't know. Like, there, there's some stuff that, like, it really doesn't matter. It's like, it's so hard to do, you know? It doesn't really affect anyone, and it's just more fun for the people who want to do it. Like, it gives the game a different amount of depth for people who want it. Like, some of the tricks people do in Mario Odyssey are, like, so cool. <sighs> anyway. There's nothing of use to be found in the ship, but I notice a blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. Is this our control panel? Push the button. A voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording. It's barely audible. Stop messing about with those buttons, you absolute idiot! <laughs> Sorry, Ramen. Concentrate! I don't think I have to remind you how much work it was to get this far. We're almost there! Alright. Let's see if what I'm told... Of what... If what, what that old mechanist told us holds up. If not, there will be a hell to pay. I hear the sound of mechanical adjustments being made. Three clicks. Buttons being pressed, perhaps? Okay. When I push this orange thing, pull that lever. Hard. Yes, Ramen. The sound of a click and a loud grunt before a snapping sound. Oh, on Rohanna's mask. Not that hard. You've torn it out. Suddenly, the speakers are filled with static and a low rumble that gradually increases in pitch. And then the sound of something... Someone cheering? It worked. We're flying. More cheering. Is that the sound of someone dancing? Okay, okay, let's focus. This thing is moving fast. We need to slow it down a bit. How do we do that, Raven? Let me check the machinist notes. A long pause. The rumbling static sound that started playing when the ship took off. It's still increasing in pitch. Raven? That lever? Toma! The one you just ripped out! We're going too fast! We're going to crash! We need to try to! The recording cuts off there. Damn, dude, they died right after getting so happy. Oh, right. Can I get the control panel? 
There's nothing of use to be found in the ship, but I noticed a blank line, blah, blah, blah. Bruh. I was lied to. There's nothing here. Oh. Cool music? Who are you? Saima. Are you looking for a calibrator? Well, sure, yeah. I am immediately on guard. Saima has always been a mischief maker and taking tremendous pleasure in tormenting me. In theory, I'm older, more experienced, and should be more than able to withstand it. In practice, however... <laughs> you won't find it here. I've hidden it. You'll never find it. Never, never. <laughs> she never fails to get me. Give it back, Saima. I order Simon to give it back. I am of gliding age and she is a child. No, I don't think I will. Simon la laughs off my irritation, but I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. I cross my arms and try to effect a change. I'll give you the calibrator. I put out my hand, proud of myself for standing tall before Simon. If you give me some beetles. Oh my God. That's a fair trade, a fair trade, isn't it? Something you want for something I want. I try to decide if it's more mature to push her over and steal the calibrator or to uh, acquiesce? Acqu I don't know. Then I simply stifle a sigh and shake her little hand. Perhaps some of the adults in the camp know where I can find some beetles? Oh! I think I'm supposed to be writing this right now. Yes, Dane. I hate this bike. This bike sucks. I know it's supposed to suck. But I hate it. Acquiesce. Ooh, what's this? Is that a skeleton? It is. Isn't the English language beautiful? I hate English, dude. I will never stop being mad at the words uh, recipe and Lester. But a very specific spelling of Lester. That. I was, I genuinely was mad when I heard it pronounced for the first time. Cause I saw it on signs and shit. And I'm like, oh, it's probably pronounced like, like a stir or something, you know? I was, you know, that's what I was thinking. Something like that. And then I hear the PA go like, Lister Square. I'm like, fuck you. I want out of this planet right now. Like, I got genuinely mad when the, the PA came up. You always know it's Leicester? Yeah, or something like that. Me too. I, I, I almost, uh, I, I was so mad. I almost got up on my seat and punched a hole through the window to get off of the train. <laughs> Fucking Leicester Square. Suck my dick, dude. All right. I assume this is one of the ships we have to visit. That's a quote. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I don't know if it work if it's funnier or less funny written though. You know? I can't decide. 
Because written, you would spell it, you know? Like, you would spell it like that. Fucking Lester, dude. You know, I can probably just... Whoops. Wrong button. I can probably just bring my freaking... Oh, but it's doing the beetle now. Open my, um... My compass to look where I'm supposed to be going right now. For the ships. I don't think this is how I get up there. Or is it? Maybe it is. Maybe this is a way. Maybe not the way, but a way. Oh, there was a way, like a, a path down here. I didn't see that. <laughs> well, this way is more fun. Oh, this Tetris Effect music again. Did this game come before or after Tetris Effect? I'm curious. You know, I kind of want to play Tetris Effect, but I probably shouldn't, given my hand is like in shambles right now. And Tetris can get it gets really intense, you know. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna fall. What's up, Dane? Oh, there's a lot of screen tearing. What's photo mode? Oh, I probably gets rid of the HUD, right? Um. Ooh. Wait, I can change. That didn't seem to change anything. Is there a V-Sync? Hi, Wancho! How are you doing? Welcome. You're fine. Are you late? I've been... I've been going for like an hour. Oh my god, there's so much screen tearing. Holy shit. This game... Is the game Unity? If so, it should be boardless, which is visiting by the window desk of... Uh, let me try borderless. Whoops. Oh, I think we were in borderless? I wonder if getting out of borderless helps. Nope. There's still... Can you see the screen tearing on stream? If you can't see on the stream, it's fine, I guess. I just find it weird that it doesn't have, like, a V-Sync option. This is, like, a game where I wouldn't mind turning on V-Sync. You know? No? Okay. Well, that's fine, then. Hey, Virtual Race, what's up? Welcome. The full frame is captured by OBS all time, so I'll never see tearing. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I wasn't sure though. I fear. Hey, 
Hey, power supply. Awesome. Now we need to find the other two parts. And the kid has one of them, and this kid is bribing us for it. Fucking little shit. Yo, another chum egg! Chum egg! <laughs> Where's my bike? Oh, I can just fast travel, right? Oh, my bike's over there, though. I can't wait to have a proper bike, dude, and not have to use this shitty piece of, like, junk anymore. Sorry, I'm just moving my screen around because I want to see if there's still some screen tearing, and there is. I need to get a better display, I think. That's... That's part of it. I just need a better monitor in general, to be honest. Uh, I keep pressing the- I, I wanna use my compass and I press the other button. Uh, find control panel from power supply. Beetle detour. Uh, ask around the camp to find how to catch beetles. Well, you use a net, right? Anyway, Wancho, Vitris, welcome to uh, definitely not Breath of the Wild. Do you know how to capture beetles? I could ask about catching beetles for that awful little Saima. <laughs> Do you know about Saima's hiding place? We're just gonna steal it instead. I know she spends a lot of time in the cave under the camp. You can have a look down there. JD greets me warmly. Hello, little glider. It's so strange being called that. It's interesting to see... You know, bold is usually used for emphasis, and they're doing the opposite here. They're making it not bold. I tell JD how strange it is being called Glider instead of Sable, or even Clan Child. Just trying to get you used to it. She seems to really like it. Maybe I like it too. My little Glider. Every time someone says emphasis, you see Josh Peck. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I cannot fault you for that. Oh, come on. Let me up there. The game sphere. It's fear coal. Yeah, dude. Uh, yo. I don't think this is who I'm supposed to be talking with right now. Oh! Maybe you. Buddy. Buddy pal. Can I drop down here? Oh, you can! I was fully expecting that to just be like, um, aesthetic. And that to actually be like a solid 
invisible like roof. But I guess in a game where they give you like the glider and stuff, like that's so much like Breath of the Wild, they kind of have to do it. <laughs> they might have to make it real because people are going to be doing that. I could ask about catching beetles for that awful little Saima. <laughs> do you know about Saima's hiding place? I know she spends a lot of time in the cave under the cam. You could have a look down there. Hillel quotes from a selection of obscure and lyrically mediocre Ivexi historical ballads whenever I pass by. There's a great verse that says much about our folk buried under sand. I guess I should just go check the cave. I don't know why I'm doing that. Like, there's no fall damage. It's just the breath of the wild brain, dude. Am I going to find more chum eggs in here? Ooh. Red dye. Where's the chum eggs, dude? There's nothing else to this place. There's some weird noises. What? God damn it. Be told detour. Who else is there to talk about beetles with? Maybe the other kid? What is this? Well, I cannot interact with it, so... We'll never know. Yo, do you know where I can find some beetles? There's a nest of beetles just east of here. You can't just walk up to one and catch it, though. And there's some seeds growing on the rocks around the nest. Drop a seed on the floor and the beetle will start eating it. Then you can sneak up and grab it. Zeki looks concerned. Uh Wait. I'm I'm so stupid. East. I couldn't I couldn't remember she said east of west. Um What's this is north, right? So I just go that way. Hmm. I probably should have brought my bike, but well, that's not my bike. It's probably more enjoyable to not use that bike, to be honest with you. Just walk. That bike sucks. Am I in the right place? Who knows? Yo, chum egg! What are chum eggs for, dude? <laughs> we can find chum eggs. Are these just like the Korok seed of this game? They probably are. I swear to God. Oh, 
Bird! X! What is up? Welcome! How are you doing? Hope you're having a nice evening. Welcome, welcome. Is this where the beetles live? Oh yeah, that's some beetles for sure. You're doing really amazing. I'm glad to hear that. Where do I find these seeds? Raining? What does this sound? You got your PS3 working on like your Xbox you can connect to your internet and soon you're gonna be playing call old Call of Duty? Well, I hope you have fun with that. Well, now I need to find these seeds that that person was talking about. found the beetles. Wait, maybe the seats were just where we were at and I had to just bring them to here. What happened, Nane? Modern Warfare 2 on PS3 is lit. Oh, look, money. I think it's money. It is money. The fact that you can still get lobbies on PS3 is insane. That's really cool, though. Can I go up here? When do I learn to wind bomb in this game? I want to move fast. You wanna play the old Modern Warfare, not the new dog shit games? <laughs> Fair enough, dude. I was never big on Call of Duty. Never played any of them. I have any opinion on their single player campaigns, but more forward more Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer is meant as fuck. I mean People seem to really like them. <laughs> Birds! I just stole the birds' money, dude. Uh, where the fuck is the seeds? You know what? It would probably be wise to put a waypoint here. So I don't forget what this is. I don't think I'm gonna forget where this is, but just in case, because you know, I can be dumb sometimes. I may be dumb, but I'm also stupid. You swap your PS3's hard drive with a $20 SSD and that shit is insane. The console boots in 12 seconds. Saves load really fast. That sounds really nice. Have I already been there? Oh, this is nothing. 
I feel scammed. Look into it. If you're going to be playing in your PS3 a lot, it's only a matter of time for the original hard drive dies. True. That is true. You know, when she told me there's some seeds, she probably meant somewhere around here. That's what I'm thinking. Can you tell me about it again? I'm I'm dumb. It is around the nest. But how do I find the seed? Maybe on the outer side of it instead of inside? Oh, they all tell me the same thing? Okay. I just guess she's gonna find those seeds somehow. Do, 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 do. This? No? The only thing I can think of is those big things that inside the, the nest. The pillar looking things, but how do I make them drop if that's the case? Maybe if I just give him a shum egg instead. There's these things growing here, right? But oh well, it seems I have figured it out. Now we just wait for a beetle to eat it. Question mark. No? Where are these fuckers? Oh wait, I can throw. I can just throw it. 
I forgot that's a thing I can do. Yo! Yes. Eat your shit. Nice. <laughs> we need more beetles. I hear you. One more. Will Frank. Hello, how are you doing? Thank you so much. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Uh, all right, hold on. You've been extremely lazy and barely play anything, mostly because your friend's console broke and your internet still isn't doing great. Your phone's internet, to be specific, which is why you used to play with friends, because your actual home is Wi-Fi. Your actual home's Wi-Fi is weird. But as soon as you saw you could play online on PS3, you just tossed the fucking Xbox away and started playing some old games. And what you love about PS3, you don't need to PS Plus to go play online. Yeah, dude. I fucking hate the idea of like having to pay for playing online. Like I'm already paying for my freaking internet. Bruh. But yeah, uh, well, Frank, I hope you're having a good evening. Where are these beetles? I can hear. I can hear them moving, but I don't see them. I literally just need one more. Come on. Because I can't bring this outside, right? Can I toss it up here? <gasps> yes. Yes, I can. <gasps> no, 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 no! Okay. No, 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 grab it! I know there's some beetles out here. We saw them earlier. Also, there's money here. Oh, never mind. I already picked that. I forgot. You don't understand how console players justify the online cost after a few years. You might as well have gotten a PC. Surprise, I haven't right. Yeah, I, I know, right? Like, it's crazy. People just pay for it. So, like, of course, uh, they're going to keep charging you for it. Oh wait, I'm pressing the throw. I need the the throw button. I'm pressing the wrong button. I might as well just throw it all the way, right? It's probably faster. Yo, there's a beetle over there. Well, because of capitalism, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> um, yeah, dude. Like EA, Activision, they got so greedy. And now we have all of this microtransaction hell. Oh. Yo, where the Beatles go? They fan... Okay, I guess, are they still there or no? I can't tell. This game is... This game is trolling me. Well, th I, they're there! Alright. Pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. All right, let's give this kid their beetle beetles. Uh. Hey, you little shit! Stop running! I feel embarrassingly vindicated as I hand Simon the Beatles. But rather than gloat, she hands me the calibrator and... 
begins to cry. What have I done? You're leaving! You're leaving and you'll never come back! Comfort her. She blows her nose and then wipes her hand on her tunic. Yara never came back after the last gliding! Aren't you sad? You were her friend! Uh, People leave. That's their choice. I miss her too. There's been a letter here and there, but it, it is always to us rather than to me. I'm not bitter, but I hope not to be like that. Please don't go! I tell Saima not to worry that I will be back sooner than she knows. And I'm sure she pouts behind the mask. And I add that if I'm not back sooner than she knows, then she will be ready for her gliding with then and she can come bother me herself. Promise? I say yes. Good, then I suppose I can come see you off. I thank her and say goodbye for now. All right, we got a thing. Now we need to find a control panel. Is the F word being automotive? Is not be showing up in the stream? Well, I don't know which word because that's not showing up in the chat. I don't think so. You mean like fuck? Is not in the YouTube chat. Yeah, I don't see it in my chat, whatever it is you're talking about. Wait, is this the control panel? Oh, that tells me where my bike is? I thought that was where the fucking control panel, like the next part of the quest was. Dang it. You see it? It would be nice if... The journal told me a little more. Oh, the places I'm supposed to be going. I guess I can go talk with um that lady again. The machinist. We're out here, shadow ban. Only us shadow ban users can see swear words. Damn, Emma. I didn't even know that was a thing. What? I did change some settings on my, um, on my YouTube chat thing. So maybe that's what it is. But it didn't sound like it would be banning that. But I think that's probably it, honestly. Big damn! Hold on. Let me check. Let me let me change it back. Uh, studio. Give me, give me a little bit. All right, all right, all right. Uh. You sent me Discord screenshots? Alright. Uh... There it is. Wow, it doesn't let you, it lets me. 
That's funny. Wait, did you try? I think it should work now. Yeah, there you go. So it was that setting. Is there a way I can allow specific words? Damn, dude. There probably is, but I probably need to actually be on like the actual YouTube chat and I'm not. Like I said, I'm I'm looking at the chat through like streamer bots client. Cause that lets me look at the chat of both platforms at the same time. You know? Alright. Pog. <laughs> Swearing is pog. You heard it here first. Oh boy, this is not happy. Uh, oh no. Apparently it doesn't like it when you open the overlay. Please tell me it auto saves. Cause I think I don't have to force quit here. The stream is saved. I can say fuck again. Thank goodness. Why would I ever do without that? Dude, I'm hungry. Da, 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 da. <laughs> All right, so fishing. Okay. I do believe it did save the fact that I had all the bugs already. Because that quest is not in my journal anymore. Good. You can say any kind of fucking shit you want to fucking say now. Hey, 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 watch it, all right? What's your fucking language, all right? Fucking hell. Zizzo is waiting for the parts. I still need to find a control panel. Okay, over there. Got it. That's literally the only reason I came back, so I could figure out where I'm supposed to be going. Which, I was literally going the right way. I just wasn't sure. Wait, I cannot mount while I'm falling? Literally unplayable. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. 
There's a control panel, I think. Oh, never mind. We're opening this thing. What's this? Can I just take this control panel? Seems this place is very windy. Does it matter? Probably not. Oh, is this a bomb? No, I am disappointed. I'm supposed to put it there. <laughs> Man. This is the most disappointing shit in this game so far. <laughs> I want to blow shit up, dude. Come on. You can't put like this tiny little barrel looking thing with red lights all over it and not expect me to think it's a bomb. Am I right, gamers? Speaking of <laughs> gamers, gamers, uh, <laughs> fucking Dane, you were asking about, um, yeah, the barrels are always explosive. You were asking about, like, Tim McGraw. And I just got reminded of her because she's always calling people gamers, right? <laughs> she was on DFH, like, what, two nights ago? I think. Or last night? I don't remember. She was on TFH. Crazy. She's alive? Oh yeah, she's- I know she's alive! Cause I follow her on Twitter and she like goes on the funniest rants, dude. Um... <laughs> yeah, she's alive. She's fine. you love to see it. Yeah, dude. I wish I could have played with her, honestly. You know. Not really touching that game right now. Not really touching a lot of games right now. I wonder when we can expect the country music's ne next album. Yeah, I know, right? When can we expect the collab with uh, Neko Arc? Dude, what is this font? I'm, I'm, I need to know what this font is. I'm going to steal this font. I am obsessed. Listen, this game is so visually like... Like, good. It's great. And here I am... Fixating on the font out of everything else in this game. I'm fixating on the fucking typeface It's a really satisfying font. It's nice I returned to Zizzo with the parts and it says she waves me over that I it is that she waves me over that I feel a pang of sadness in my chest When will I see her again? Once I'm gone. Well done, Sable. Yes, this is everything we need. Are you ready to assemble a bike of your own? I guess. What, this music? 
Zizzo relaxes in the workshop. It isn't that she's particularly rigid or anxious ordinarily, but there's some certain calm beauty that one only truly appreciates when Zizzo is in her element. I wonder if it's this way for all Machinists. What you must understand, Sable, is that the components you acquire, they fit together. Not by chance, not by effort, but by nature. They belong to her. They have always belonged to her. All we are doing is assembling her from what she has already been. I nod and feel as bossing in my ears. Among my clan, we believe that machines have names. Held for ages like deep secrets, unheard by those unequipped to listen. We will find this one's name together. Yes. Yes, we will. This is relaxes in the- okay. Okay, okay. What am I supposed to do? Oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> He's pretty happy about it. But now... Alright. You don't have anything else to say. Build your own hoverbike. That's my achievement. I have paint for it. How do I use it? I can't. <laughs> Listen. Zizzo tilts her head a moment, leaning closer to... Simoon? All at once I know the hoverbike's name. Simoon. I say it in a whisper. No, I thought I was gonna be able to name it whatever I wanted! Uh, I was gonna name it Chum Egg, dude! I am so mad. Uh, I wanted my bike to be chum egg. <laughs> well done, Sable. What does it mean? What sort of name is that? As Zizzo, what sort of name it is, and if it speaks to any particular clan or culture. If it does, then I do not know. Perhaps you will find out on your journey. Zizzo shrugs, mostly to herself. Or perhaps you won't, but I hardly think it matters. You are bonded all the same. I tell Saibun that I am eager to know her better, and Zizzo looks quite proudly at the both of us. You are ready, then, for the gliding. May all the gods turn their faces from you, Sable. Huh. An odd blessing, perhaps, but Zizzo is prone to such things, and I can read in her tone that it was meant quite sweetly. You must learn to listen to Simon, to take her for her. Seek out my fellow machinists in, on your travel, Sable. They will teach you the art of machine whispering. Oh, and here, take this. A badge? You'll meet plenty of my elk on your gliding. Show them your worth and they'll give you more badges. I thank Zizzo twice for good measure and give a bow. I am ready. Can I ride my bike now? Dude! Not yet! What is wrong with you? Has this always been here? Of course it has. But I never noticed. Oh, it's into your house. Yo. Oh. 
I want to leave now. I return to JD with a new lightness. And it makes the weight of my departure feel, feel heavier still. What a strange day. Sable! Is that a batch you've got there? Yeah, look at me, JD. I'm already gliding. I take out the badge and hold it out for closer examination. So close, in fact, that JD chuckles and has to take a small step back. <laughs> Zizzo must have really felt you earned it. Well done. I give a bow of thanks. Well, Sable, if I, you keep up this up, you'll be headed for the mass caster in no time. I tried to think about going to a mass caster, but it seems impossibly far away. Imagine choosing what I want to be. Men choosing what I want to be forever? I know what you're thinking, but don't worry about it. You'll get plenty of badges when you're out there. And once you got three alike, you can trade it for that mask. But don't feel like your first mask is your final choice. The gliding is about freedom and exploration. I suggest you claim as many masks as you wish. Only at your final ceremony will you be asked to choose one. How will I choose one? You'll have to feel it out, but when you know, you'll know. Now! The tunnel of her now puts these butterflies back in my stomach. But all of this dawn, there is only one thing left. It's time then, isn't it? Time to walk through the phase door at the Temple of Rohanna. There you'll assemble your gliding mask. And go. There are things I wish to convey to Shady here. Depths of love and gratitude and fear and worry and hope. And though I find myself unable to speak any of it in my words, in words, I know she understands. Before you leave, child, I made you these. They are dyed with the traditional Ibexi maroon and I hope provide you great comfort out in the desert. When you leave today, you will no longer be Sable, clan child of the Ibexi. You will simply be Sable and the rest will come. But no matter why you are, no matter where your journey takes you, I will always know you. I will always love you. And I will see you again. Good night, gamers. I don't know where my journey will end, but I know where it must begin. And I am ready. I should head to the temple to begin my gliding. Will I get my bike over there? Do I have to still use this shitty ass? I might as well just walk over there, honestly. I can't use this yet, can I? Sad. All right, can if we All right, I am going to assume that's a clock. Because it makes no sense that it was 22 and now it's 18. Otherwise. So it's 6 p.m. Or 18. And we're back to the beginning. This door is open now. For extra convenience. How did it happen? Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. Who opened it? I don't know. Oh, you're spooky. Oh, okay. Hello. You remind me of something, but I cannot quite put it exactly what it is. Reminds you of Andros? 
Really? Andros? That's definitely not what I'm thinking of. You know, I never really play Star Fox 64. I'm a fake Star Fox fan. I just love the original one. The SNES one. And Assault is alright. Dinosaur... Well, not Dinosaur Planet. That's not what it's called. It's fucking adventures. Kind of sucks. What am I supposed to do here anyway? Yeah, I played that one just for uh, 64. I mean... I don't even know if people would like it if they, ha if they played 64, you know? I don't know how much of it... Of me liking that game is like nostalgia. But I really like that game. Cause, you know... It's a 3D game on the SNES. The SNES is not known for its 3D performance. There's a lot of, like, lag and shit with that game. The heck am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to be here at all? Yes! Was I meant to bring something? Is there a button I didn't see? You heard the GameCube ones were great, but just haven't played them. Uh, I don't know if I would agree on Adventure being great. I don't think it's great. I don't think it's very good. Assault is pretty all right. I enjoy Assault. I'm not a big fan of the Landmaster portions. And actually playing Assault on the PC is really nice because you can remap like, you know, to, to play it with mouse and keyboard for like the on food sections and it plays really well. I remember doing that and having a really good time with it. I don't think I can reach this climbing, can I? You must be coming a boomer because you play everything that is an FPS with a controller now. Well, I mean, the on foot sections are you're playing an FPS, pretty much. Or I guess it's more like of a over the shoulder shooter, but you still it's it feels better to aim. Um. Yeah, everything else in that game, like, I prefer to play every other section with, um, the controller. It's just the on-food sections. I'm probably missing something really obvious, and I'm- I'm just looking like a fucking idiot. I'm probably supposed to go up there, right? Yeah, definitely this way.
Like, I mean, I'm playing with a controller right now. Right? Although the reason I'm doing that is more... Has nothing to do with preference. Although... I feel like this is a game I would play the controller anyway. It feels... It's... it's it seems to be... Made for controller. Alright, so I gotta do that two more times, right? Because there's other two of these. So I gotta go up there. I understand now. Learning has happened. I don't know if it's supposed to be so... Like, the colors, um... Are supposed to be like this right now, wished out, or if it's just because it's nighttime. Like, I don't know if this is part of, like... The aesthetics of this... Quest. Alright, so the last one is up here. How do I get up there? Do I just climb? Oh, I can just climb this. Okay. <gasps> Whoa! Okay. That's funny. That... They give you a lot of leeway with the stamina in this game. I gotta say. Like, the stamina is way more forgiving. Than uh, Breath of the Wild, because they're going, they're definitely doing the whole like Breath of the Wild stamina thing, but they're way more forgiving with it. Okay, that doesn't look very serious. Yo, I can be Nagoriyuki? Sweet. Now go time, dude. Can I wear it? Oh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> well, I hope my bike is ready now. It's 4 a.m. So... I don't care, I'm gonna go and bother them for my bike. I'll be like, hey, look at what I got! Can I dye my clothing, like, white to get the full Nagoriyuki, like, look going? Where's my bike? Did I not bring the bike? I did bring the bike, didn't I? Well, I mean, it's not like we're too far, but... I guess I didn't. I mean, it's not showing in the map, so maybe he's... I just can't ride that bike anymore. I just need to get my actual bike now.
Minecraft music? Logan in. Hello, Sable. JD's voice echoes strangely through the machine, yet still it warms me. Well, Sable, this is it. By the time you hear this, we will have gone. The gliding is a journey that must begin alone. There is a certain nuance lost in transmission, and for that I am grateful. It would be far too much to hear the cracks in her voice and not run weepily into the arms of, to stay forever. But I am ready, and so I close my eyes and listen. But though you go by yourself, you are not without friends. You are not without family. You are not without love. These things you will always carry with you as you do your mask. And I know I'm not supposed to do this, but if I were you, I might go and see Utari. They're the machinist, uh, machinist at Burnt Oak Station and among Zizzo's closest friends. Utari is a good contact to have on one's gliding and a fine way to get another machinist badge if you're so inclined. Only a suggestion though. As for us, I'll send another message once we've returned to a viewer. So keep an eye on the post boxes and try not to forget us. She takes a long breath. And I forget that things as easy as breathing could ever exist. The world is waiting, Sable. Good luck. Listen, I'm joking a lot playing this game, but I am liking the writing and just the game, like the atmosphere and everything a lot. Anyway, where's my bike? Can I get my bike? <gasps> there it is! Wait, there is whistling! Like, for the- oh my god! But I bet there's no, like, whistle sprinting, though. <laughs> this really is just Breath of the Wild, dude. <laughs> now we leave. Dude, that's some uh, Lord of the Rings looking shit right there. The world is bigger than you thought it would be. Yeah, this is just the beginning. That was just a tutorial, right? Also, this music? Reminds me of Ashley Ball. Frame rate suffering a bit. The music is a little loud. I don't know if it's loud on stream. Hopefully it's fine. You know, I kind of forgot I was supposed to be going somewhere and I was just kind of gliding around, having a good time, enjoying the music. 
enjoying the landscape. Wait, can I collide at all with that? No. How forgiving is it? <laughs> Okay, there is collision. This is very forgiving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice, though, because, like, it means... Um, navigating is not, you know, you don't feel like you're fighting against the terrain or whatever. It's more enjoyable, I guess. So far, this game has had pretty good music. Not only is it very pretty, the music has been very enjoyable. I wish this accelerator thing was um, a toggle. Or I wish there was a toggle option. Because, you know, I don't enjoy the fact that I have to hold this button down the entire time. You know how I keep talking about how, like, they, they seem to be borrowing a lot from Breath of the Wild? In Breath of the Wild, Something I really appreciate is how the horses work. You don't have to keep uh, pressing the button for them to move. Once you get up to speed, they just keep moving to that speed. You can make them move slower or faster. And if you go into a path, like a road, you don't even have to steer them. They kind of just follow the road. The more they trust you, the, the closer they, f they follow the road. But like in general, you can just like get your your horse going and then you can just enjoy the ride. You know, because that, that game is very pretty. Like there's a lot to just you can just look around and have a good time, even like not doing anything. Just looking around. It's a good time. Yeah, so I mean, even if it didn't auto steered like the horses, it would be nice if I could just like hold this up to the speed I want and then let go. Just like in, in the horses in Breath of the Wild. You, you just bring them to the speed you want and then they just keep it until you tell them to stop. Maybe there's a reason for it not to work like this. Maybe we're going to have to do some maneuvering later on. I don't know. I somehow doubt it. This doesn't feel like the way it controls doesn't make me feel like I'm gonna be asked to do a lot of tricky maneuvering with it at any point. It's a funny looking bike. The machinist looked me over. You are late. What? I've never met you in my life. I'm perfectly on time. No. I tell them yes. They at least consider it. Hmm. No, you're late. Perplexed. I wait for them to explain themselves, but they seem to wait for the same. Briefly, I feel a hint of shame as I remember times I have been late among the Ibexi. Things I have slipped up in doing. But I dismiss my doubts as I recall that I have no idea who this strange machinist is. I asked them. My name is Utari. Of the immediate rele relevance to you is that I am fr a friend of Zizo. 
this is the person uh, we're told about. Conveniently enough, I asked then if Zizzo alerted them to my impending arrival. Perhaps she looks out for me and sets waypoints and oa oasis along my gliding. A comforting thought. No, 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 no. It was your hover bike. I heard it for the first time months ago and felt the shape of his voice, of her voice. Sorry. I tell Utari that it was not Simoon they heard, for Zizzo and I only built her a few days hence. They waved their hands at me in a hurried dismissal. Does Zizzo teach you so little? The voices of our machines are eternal, more ancient even than their forms. I hear them, as I always have. I, I would just leave. This person is speaking crazy talk, dude. And years I thought would revisit me sooner, but here we are. Now let us speak of why you have come. Our needs converge atop the wind tower. Tell me more. Customized bike. Something has stopped the tower working. I was hours away from going to see it for myself, but you and Simon came after all. Go there, mend what is broken or soothe what is hurt, and I will give you what you seek. I Sutari if they know what I seek. I omit that I might not. A direction. I've been waiting for you. Travel swiftly and safely. I said goodbye to Atari. <laughs> Alrighty. What's this? Oh, I thought it might be a poster. Oh, is this a shop? The mask caster sits, unmoving, silent. I can't tell if the mask caster is human or something else. I've heard about mask casters and stories about glidings before. Gliders should collect three badges of a set and bring them to the caster from whom the mask shall be cast. I should look for some more badges. I leave the mask caster. Can I get on that? <laughs> yes. Yo, what's down here? Nothing. Oh, never mind. Hello. It's a challenge not to view scrappers through quite a romantic lens. As I look towards my gliding as a child, I picture myself as a dust-covered traveler, exploring strange forbidden places and finding strange forgotten things. A treasure hunter of old and arcane objects. And though I'm certain the grind of sifting through sand and dirt for useful tools and things left over can wear anyone down, I cannot help but weave some thread of my fantasy into the reality of the work. Greetings, glider! Name's Alton. I give a bow and introduce myself as Sable. You find much scrap metal out there, Sable? Uh, I've been, it's been known to happen. Good, good. Alton leans back and looks up at the ceiling thoughtfully. Got a task for you then, if you're up for it. The hesitation in my voice is a product of a gentle intimidation. But I stand up straight and casual enough to seem like I'm up for anything. Alton seems to believe it enough. I need scrap, Sable, and lots of it. And you out there already? Doing basically nothing. <laughs> Alton chuckles to himself. Shouldn't say it like that. Lighting's odd, eh? You have nothing to do, so you have everything to do. Huh. Wonder if anyone's ever spent their gliding just lying around. I don't know if that counts as gliding. I say with a smirk that I don't imagine that would count as gliding, but at the same time I wonder if some people do go out and use the time to simply be with themselves in a safe and reflective space. Would it matter as much what mask we choose if we found our purpose deep within? Oh no, should I be doing that? Atling clears his throat and I'm grateful to be shaken free. Anyhow, the task! Let's see if you can understand this one, yeah? It's a bit complex. I tell him I'm ready. Go out, find scrap, bring it to me. Is that all? 
Slightly taken aback, I ask Alton if that's all. What do you mean if that is that all? That's scrapping! You want the job or not? I tell him I'm happy for any reason to explore and that I'll return with everything I find. I say goodbye to Alton. Alright, buddy. I'll bring you some scrap, I guess, if I find any. I want to go back up there, dude. Wait, I can... I can call my bike, right? No? Come on. Lazy as bike. What is a tree? I mean, it is a tree, but I want to climb it. Oh, there's a, there's a chum egg up there, dude. I'll, we'll have to check that out in a bit. I want to climb this tree for no reason. Other than I can, probably. I don't even know if I have enough stamina. I probably... Don't? It's not... It's not on the ground. Huh. I don't think I definitely don't have enough stamina, do I? Yeah. That that means there's definitely something up there, right? For sure. There's a chum egg up there as well. These chum eggs, they they are definitely the core seats of the team. I don't think I can get to that one. Ah, oh, so close. Come on. Okay. I'm not getting that yet. But cer certainly I can get that one, right? And that other chum egg up there. Oh, dude, that's a cool mechanical beetle right there. Here, chum egg. You're mine. Yeah. -ha -ha! Do -ka -do -do -ka -do -do. Anyway, I was supposed to be doing a quest. But, uh, there's some eggs to find, dude. <laughs> Nomadic merchant Bobby! Glider, welcome! Come view my wares! I would like to trade with you. Tell me about the scam. Where can I get a merchant's badge? That's a big beetle! He's a big boy, Fred! Don't let his eyes fool you, though. He's a soppy fella. Loves to snuggle. Won't help much if a worm attacks, but he can pull anything through a sand drift without any struggle. See you soon. Yo, it's not mechanical. <sighs> so cute. I would love 
to see one of those IRL. That would be so cool. As long as it's friendly. I think beetles are cute, alright, Dane? I thought it was mechanical and I thought it was really cool, but it turns out it's a real bug, which is even cooler. The guard before me stands tall, her posture shaped by duty, uniform weather by years. Hello there, young glider! I'm nearly startled by the force of her greeting. I guess I choose the proper voice, but her voice is comforting somehow. Warm and welcoming. Maybe, maybe not a proper... I'm not warm and welcoming. I greet her with uh, the accidental enthusiasm of a traveler finding a friend. She's miles behind the mask, I think. Always nice to meet a fellow adventurer, especially now. How are you faring so far? I never felt more free. Oh, how lovely that must be. I might normally be a little jealous, but my circumstances are opening up right up. I'm about to join you in that blissful freedom. I think about the balled up fabric and smooth out rock that will make my next pillow and many to come. My neck aches faintly at the thought of how many nights I'll spend this way. It's possible I'm romanticizing it a little. You see, I'm getting ready to leave my second glide on my second gliding. She reads the confusion in my silence. Did no one tell me of second of the second gliding? I suppose it isn't a real second gliding, but it's how I'm thinking about it. A chance to see the world again and how it's changed. I am an Ecrine guard, you see, or I was an Ecrine guard. As of three days ago, I am officially retired. You should have seen the way the others looked at me. There's a laugh in her voice. All of them were so baffled to see me go, telling me how much I'd missed the big city. A few of them even felt sorry for me. Like, what would I do now that my life's purpose is complete? Can you imagine? I try to, but I can barely muster a view of my purpose's start, let alone its end. I shake my head. I said, thank you all for strange condolences, but tomorrow marks the first time in decades that I'll wake up in the morning and have absolutely no idea what lies ahead, and I've never been more excited. Don't get me wrong, I've loved my work, even loved the noise and the trouble of Ecria, but I've spent enough of my life standing around looking hard. It's time to explore. Her glee is infectious. I ask where she'd like to go. I'm heading to the Badlands, I think. I want to see the Bridge of the Betrayed. If you haven't already, you should definitely go and see it yourself. You'll want the Northern Badlands, southwest of here. I'm not trying to keep the directions in mind. And at least the bed gives me a little tap. Uh, maybe I'll see you up there. I am wrong, alright? Oh, uh, whatever, dude. Alright. Whatever, whatever. Is that just old hair? <laughs> Oh, this guy is a beetle? Or is that just a mask? I'm assuming it's just a mask. Oh, cool mask, though. I meet Ifa, the innkeeper of the camp. What can I do for you? <laughs> Say goodbye. Do you have any tasks that need doing? Before I can even finish the question, Ifa shouts, Larval husks! I repeat the words back to her as clarification. Larval husks? She nods. I need some larval husks. There, how much do you know about beetles? Uh, a little bit. Well, not sure if this is part of that little bit, but larval husks are what gets left behind when the beetle larvae grow. Beautiful, really thought casing, tough casings. If you don't mind, I'd be grateful if you could collect some for me. The type I'm looking for are Hercule Hercules beetles. You won't need to go far, but the nest is guarded by the mother beetle. You're going to have to find a way to get past her. I tell her I'll do my best. Anything else I can help you with? I uh, goodbye, I guess. Remnants of change. Huh. I'm starting to think there's a theme to this game, but I can't quite I can't quite tell. <laughs> All right. I wonder what it is. They're being very subtle about it. We're going to find the map for this area. I wonder if I'm ever going to stop doing that. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, da, 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 da. 
da, 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 da. Oh, there's the map over there. Let's go get it. But you know, um, I'm definitely not wrong, Dane. I'm sorry. I wonder if I can reach it. Oh. I can probably just climb this way. Up the hamburger rocks. I'm sorry that you're wrong. Exactly. Or, you know, my favorite way of saying it, it's okay to be wrong, dude. Don't worry about it. <sighs> Please make it. Oh, yeah, we can make it. I just got an achievement for talking to 15 NPCs. I feel like that's something that should not be an achievement. I greet the cartographer shyly, a little cowed by how alone we are up here and how intimidate, how intimate that sometimes feels despite it being so much a part of my gliding. She responds with what sounds like a warm smile. Hello there, glider. Thanks for taking the time to climb all the way up here. Surveying gets a little lonely sometimes. Same energy as the Shemus for launching the aim? Exactly. You know? I tell her I do, given how lonely I can get on the sand sometimes. I hope Simoon doesn't hear. So then, what is what is it you need? A map? Oh, what's this? Oh, the badge. Thanks, Glider. Goodbye. Wait, don't you have... Can we talk about something else? What's worth a look nearby? What orid regions are nearby? You know what? Nah. I'll find out on my own. Anyway. We're headed to the temple. Don't mind the dog. Oh god! Okay. I thought it didn't... It didn't get on it. Yo, it's 10 p.m. Crazy. You would think it would be darker in the middle of, like, the desert at 10 p.m., you know? <laughs> hmm. Eleven. That sounds like Starbound music now. Is it light pollution? You know what? Maybe. Although there don't seem to be, like, a lot of light sources. That's the thing, right? Yeah, I do mean it in the game, you dork. <laughs> it's not 10 p.m. yet in real life for me. 
<laughs> Speaking of like light pollution shit, dude. It's it is almost 10 p.m. Not quite. Um, that reminds me. Oh, chum egg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hi! Uh. Anyway. <laughs> so, speaking of light pollution, when I lived in Mexico City, uh, you know, massive city. One of the biggest cities in the world. I remember one night, I was like just hanging out right outside like on a balcony at home and I was just looking outside and I, I just assumed it was like 7 p.m. or something because the sky was still looking like a little bright you know and I was just kind of chilling outside I don't even know how much time I spent outside and then when I came back in I look at the clock and it was like 1 a.m. It was just all the light from the city reflecting in the clouds and the smoke and everything. Let me tell you, a lot of smog in, in Mexico City as well. And then the the room I slept in when I lived in Mexico City. The same situation over there. He can get smoggy over there by you because of BP refinery close by, and it can look bright as fuck at the dead of night. Yeah. Um. Another thing that didn't help, although this was on the other side of the house, uh, the balcony was on the opposite side of where my room was. Um. Right in front of my window of my room. I live on the second floor. Right in front of the window. A fucking lamp post. So I have this bright ass light shining in my face all night. Eventually you get used to it, but it's not the best. Despite that, still my favorite place to live. And yeah, that room was great. I wish I was still in that room. It was massive. That room was kind of the size of this entire house, honestly. Well, not quite, but almost. Can I not climb this? What is this? Just a plant? Random ass plant. That's a funny looking mountain. I'm assuming it's a mountain. What else could it be? Mountain range? Is it a force field? Oh, that's a lot of thorns! Is that the Batlands? Shadowland. This game looks so cool, dude. <laughs> I had to just take a moment. Man. Hey, what's up, Mr. Gay? How's it going? <laughs> you being gay over there? Hello! What is up? 
Welcome to me getting distracted by chum eggs. <laughs> That's gonna be my my score for this game when I review it. Chum egg out of ten. <laughs> also, I'm just getting distracted because the game looks so pretty. This is like playing Breath of the Wild all over again. Oh! It really is. Yeah. It's like I'm playing a comic book. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> That's a little guy. Hello. <laughs> Funny looking guy. Wait, am I supposed to reach up there? I think I can just keep going this way and I'll reach up there. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like a money container. We gotta look around for chum eggs, dude. I know I'm supposed to be going to the temple, and I'm almost at the temple, as you can tell by the um, architecture around. Chum eggs are more important. There's gonna be a chum egg up here, right? I don't know if I can climb this last bit. I don't think I have enough stamina, do I? Oh! There is a, there is a chum egg! Your chum egg there, right? It makes perfect sense. Confetti. <laughs> nice. I would have been disappointed if there wasn't no chum egg up there. You can't just put that that climbing spot and not have anything up there. What's this? Oh, money. Ooh, money. White chum? I don't know, that's what they're called. <laughs> I don't fucking know, dude. I just think it's really funny. And this music is so nice. Ah, 
<sighs> Dude, I love the layout of this place. <laughs> that was really cool. Ah, I love this place. It's a really cool, like, uh, building to explore. Oh, God. Okay. I thought it was, um, a platform here. It seems uh, I was mistaken and now I have to climb again. But first, to go up, we must go down. I'm tempted to try to climb this, but I know I don't have enough stamina. Oh, but you know what? Maybe... I can do this... I don't have enough to... I do, I do, I do, I do. I keep expecting it to deplete at the same rate of Breath of the Wild, but this game is way more forgiving. Alright. Yeah! I have been rewarded! Wabba Wabba! Alexi Roma, welcome! How are you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful evening. I am having a fantastic time exploring this game right now. All right. You finished PE this missile? I am not familiar with that game. I'm assuming it is a game. But I hope you enjoyed yourself. There's gotta be a chum egg somewhere around here, right? Yo! Snowy biome? That's different. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> okay, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> awesome. Have you ever tried streaming Lethal League? I have streamed Lethal League a couple times in the past. <laughs> I was literally surfing on that surface. That was great. Yeah, that was like a couple years back though. If you go look at my Twitch clips, um, you, you can find some Lethal League clips in there. Listen, so long ago that some of those clips are on the original Lethal League and not Blaze. Because I used to play it like way back. Uh, we did stream Blaze too, but like, yeah. Blaze is, I, Blaze is great. Blaze is a massive upgrade. Listen, don't get me wrong. I loved the original. I really did when it, when it was the one that existed. But I don't think I can just go back. I don't want to go back.
That being said, and I don't know how, if this is a controversial opinion or not, I prefer the look of the original one. I was never a big fan of the 3D models. Uh, just the 3D style. I know the original ones are sprites that are just traced off of 3D models, but they look way better in my opinion. Ooh. Have a good night, Dane. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time. Is that all there is in here? Did I already solve the uh, quest? I think that's the quest. Yep. Man, this place was so fun to climb. <laughs> this game's great. <laughs> oh, you can climb on these? Yo. What? My my brain just assumed those would have no collision. Honestly. Like, in any other game, stuff like that would literally just not have collision. It would be just aesthetic. Right? Hey, Chum Egg! <laughs> Give me the chum egg. All right, let's go back to the camp. We love Chum Egg. Pog Egg. Chum Egg Pog. Yeah, dude. I have eight. Where can I get the soundtrack? I probably just buy the soundtrack from Steam, honestly. It's probably on Spotify. Pretty chill. There was a song with lyrics earlier, and it was really nice. Reminded me a bit of Hey Ocean. Have a good night, dude. I should probably stop soonish, but I just kind of want to keep playing this game. It's so nice. It is kind of late, though. 
<laughs> I just looked at the time. Yo, I did the thing! Utari greets me warmly. How may I help? Utari's delight is obvious, and I see it even in my approach. They radiate with energy. You did it! Thank you and well done, both of you. Do you have much trouble? No, I had much fun. Not at all. Of course not, and why would you? You were meant to do it. Now for your... I wouldn't say reward. Now for what you're owed. Utari produces a machinist badge, holding it out for me to take. You may have been late in coming, but here you are where you are meant to be. I give you this badge not only in recognition of where you have been and what you've done, but in honor of one of many possibilities. That you may, if you so choose... Become one of us, who speak the unheard language of Simoon and her vast connection. This badge is but one, and you will need to earn more from others who carry them. But if and when you do, the caster will know what you have chosen, and you may wear the mask of the machinist. I thank, thank Utari for it, and tell them I have much to consider. But for just a moment, I hear the faintest ringing in my left ear distant and deep, like a river below the sands. Listen. Another song? Can I get another song, please? Pretty please? No? Sad. Hello, Buckethead. Well met, Glider. We had goats in my clan. What's in that glass vial? Oh, I made this. It's a color palette for a hover bike, inspired by inspired by my work as a herder. Here, take some. I insist. I'd be very proud to see you riding a bike with my color sable. Well met, glider. Ah, what's up with the statue? As you may recognize her, Oana. She was a great herder of many creatures. They say she came from the whale and herded the ancestors of the creatures we care today. We teach that keeping your herd near her statues will keep them together, well fed and healthy. Well met, Glider. We had goats in my clan. Ah, so you're familiar with their temperament. I suppose you are Ibexi? Say hello to Omar and Jaddy for me. JD. Well met, Glider. All right. See you around. So you're, can I pet the goats? It would be nice if they let me pe pet the goats. Alas, we may not pet the goat. Hey, Bogman. Ooh. Bike booster. Beetle bike. Yo, I can make my bike look like a beetle? I'm kind of game. I don't think I have enough money to get the whole set though. What's the coolest? The wings? All right. Thank you. Hello, Sable. On read messages zero. All right. How do I customize my bike though? Menu? Oh yeah. No? Nope. Yo, can you help me customize my bike? Is that what you do? You do. Right. Wait, these have different stats? Heck.
<laughs> Wait, can I paint it with you too? So I have some paint, right? Or is that how I chose the... The colors? Is that already included in here? That's probably this, right? Hmm. These parts give me better stats, though. That's the sad part. The beetle parts look cool. When do I get more stamina? Find some beetle larvae, I guess. Whoop. <laughs> Let's go. I wonder if you can, like, dye your clothing. You can change the color of your bike. What about my clothing? I'm assuming it's here. I guess I could just check my map, right? Whoops. Did not mean to put a waypoint there. Well, it's not here, but there's gonna be chum egg in here. This place looks too interesting for not to not be anything. Though, I'm not sure I can actually climb any of these hoodoos. I don't have a lot of stamina. There's gotta be something up there. There's no way, dude. There's no way I can make it up there, though. Not yet. Wait, is it back here at the temple? Is this where I have to go? Wait, is this not the same temple I was at before? It's not.
Okay. Bird. Bird. Very noisy bird. Oh. Is this what I'm looking for? No. has to be what I'm looking for. No? Larval ho husk. Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I? Barely. I think that's what I'm looking for. There's one down here too. Ooh. Got some Z fighting going on there. What the heck is this? Definitely have to do something with these. There were some more over here. supposed to be a big beetle here. <laughs> Worst part is probably somebody told me what to do here, but I did not pay attention. Get me out there. Please make it. No, no, no. I don't want to go all the way down. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh. This is probably where I'm supposed to go. This is where the nest is. I probably need those things to smoke them out? Question mark? There's an old worn out notepad by the tent. After all my journeying, my path inside the nest is blocked. The Hercules beetle, she blocks the way and refuses to move. I continue flicking through the scrawl of notes. I am at my wit's end. The creature sleeps and sleeps and will not move. I've tried attacking the beast, but its shell is hard as metal and she does not even acknowledge me. There are further notes. There's an unusual plant that has overgrown the tower across from the nest. I plan to investigate this. The smaller beetles seem attracted to the plant. The climb was extremely troubling. If only I had my old gliding stone still. Nevertheless, I made it. Holding the fruit that grows on the giant plant seems to agitate it and emit a harmless gas of some kind. Beetles seem to gather around as I do so. I will test my theory with the mother. Well, that's exactly what I was thinking. Ah. Where is the mother, though? Mm. Is this the entrance? Oh yeah, hello. So that's what these are for. How did I miss that? What's for here? That's the way I came. Oh, that's how I missed it, because I came this way originally. Like this, and I just saw this, and I just went climbing. Somehow, I never looked back. <laughs> anyway, we got the, the plants. So that's already taken care of. Yo! Mama Beetle! I got you a present. You'll love it. Bye. Uh, maybe I should not have just left the plant out there. Hopefully there's another exit, right? <laughs> Well, that looks friendly. Well, maybe it's better that Dane's not here anymore, because, uh... We're dealing with bugs, and he don't like bugs. Where's the last one? Oh! Okay. That's a tent. Someone died here. Haha! -ha! That's the last one. And I'm guessing this is my way out. Yes, 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 yes. Take me out, take me out. That was indeed... Chum Egg! That was indeed my way out.
Ja. Alrighty. Time to go back. Eva, I got your stuff. I have a feeling there might be like some sort of achievement for going through these. Let's go through a bunch of them in a row. What's this? What is this? Is this someone's house? Hello? Angler hut! Yo! More than once, Sai Moon has slowed over a dune without my asking, or taking an unexpected but gentle curve around an invisible something, and I've wondered if she's drawing from a memory of a time before. But lately, I've wondered if she's tuning into another, different flow altogether, the movements of fish as they swim beneath the sands. I approach the angler with this in mind and think how interesting it must be to find one sculling and fishing and reaching out for things one cannot see. Might even teach me some patience. Hello there, glider! What can I do for you? What do I want to talk about? I'd like to learn to fish. The angler nods. Fancy the angler's mask, eh? Hope you're more patient than some of these gliders. I'm working on that. I'm certain, he smirks. Mm, well, either way, the first thing you'll need is a fishing rod, and I'll give you one of my old ones. Good for a trainee. Take this. You can use this to cast off anywhere you can find some sand. Anywhere? Anywhere! Whether you get a bite or not will be another matter, but that's the trick of being an angler. Feeling it out. I nod. So if you want to earn the mask, that's how you do it. I'm not here to waste your time if you're not here to waste mine. For your first batch, all I'll need to see is some fish from right here in San Sea. Bring me a balagopi, a babble eye, and a pillfish, and we are good. And remember, every species has its own habitat, so you'll have to search around to find where they live. But word to the wise, a lot of fish survive by nibbling on the root of plants. That should give you a place to start. I thank him and depart. Good luck out there! Alright, let's try it out. How do I? Oh. Fish? Oh. Yo. Come here, fishy, fishy, fishy. One. Can we get all three? Ah, oh, come on. 
Eh, iya apa? We need pillfish. <laughs> Dopey dart. This is kind of cute. Whoops. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. I already have one of these. Here. Oh, come on. Come here, you little shit. Come here, you little shit. That's a dopey dart. That's not what I need. Oh my god, it's just these guys. That's not what I want. All right, let's just finish this other quest. Maybe we'll fish though some other time. Oh, maybe on this big ass tree we can fish there what the game okay I don't know what just happened but it happened Come on, come on. Really? I'm pressing. Oh, I thought I did it too hard. Oh my god. Not that guy again. I wonder if I can do anything with this fish besides that one quest. Can I eat it? 
Can I sell it? Whoa, okay. Dang it. That was really quick though. Not as quick, but still, that's a dopey! Ugh. I don't want to fish anymore, dude. This sucks. Hey, I got your beetle stuff. Yo, what's this? Oh, it's the uh, mailbox. Okay. Greetings, glider. What can I do for you? Ifa started clapping at the moment I caught her eyes. Ah, oh, you got them! Hope old mother beetle didn't give you too much trouble. I hand her the husks, lighter than air but strong as steel, and she slides them away in the in a cloth bag. These will really come in handy, thank you. Actually, there's one more thing you could do for me. Can you take these husks to Ekria and deliver them to Aeon in the Chime Maker's Workshop? Anything else I can help you with? Goodbye. Can I, like, sleep here for a night or something? You know? That would be nice. Can I get a different haircut? That would be cool. Hi guys, let's finish this. To Ecria. I don't know where that is. Well, I know it's this way. Because my compass says so. I want to sing, but I don't know what to sing. Hopefully I can just go straight this way and I don't have to go around whatever this is. Oh. Oh shoot. My compass don't work here. Do I need a map? I mean, I think I'm going the right way. And if not, well, I guess we're on adventure. Game's chugging a bit though. Oh, I just noticed my character disappeared. Uh, <laughs> that's cool, I guess. I'm invisible. What 
is that? We're about to find out. Got me in there. Nice electric piano. Very nice. <laughs> that was funny. Balfron connection. But what is the Balfron connection? Oh, chum egg! Yes, I know, I know, game. I know I'm a Balfurn connection. I think I was not supposed to be able to do that. There's a chum egg there. Oh, I can't climb this? Yo, I can't climb this thing. What was the chum egg? I should at least get the chum egg. Oh, there it is. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. Like, I'm probably not supposed to be doing this yet. I have a feeling. I have to be able to make it somehow. Oh god, I didn't mean to just drop. I promise I pressed the jump button. Please make it. Oh dude, I can't get high enough. Come on. 
How was I just able to make it before? Come on. What is Balfron connection? Oh, can I go in here? No, it's blocked. Blocked all sides. Can't do Balfron connection yet. I think. Well, this is not where I was supposed to go. I don't think so. I think I can get a mapper there, though. Where's my bike? Oh, I can always just... Yeah, here's my compass. Wait, my compass is working again? Maybe my compass was supposed to work, but it was just glitching out. Oh my god. I was thinking maybe you don't get to use your compass in areas you don't have the map for yet, but that would be silly, right? That was the whole point of a compass. Anyway, I have to get my bike back. How far did I? Oh, <laughs> all right. I was about to be like, how far did I put it? I should probably check that balloon over there, get my map. Music sounds really nice. Is there like an actual entrance to this or do I have to just climb? I think I might just have to climb. Oh, entrance? Yes. What are these? Hummingbirds? They're too big. Quail? Shady leaf butterfly. Just fucking eat it like it's Skyrim.
Secret. Yes. Come on. Get up there. Too hard. I don't think I can just throw it up there from here. No, it's too. Too low. How do I bring you up there? Hmm. What? Oh, that's my stamina. I was confused. I thought it was like an interaction thing. Or maybe I gotta climb from outside and there. Press that button. Aha. Don't tell me I'm stuck in here. Mm, boy! I was really close to not being able to make it. I don't even know where this goes. I know it goes somewhere. Chum egg. Oh, look at that. It goes there. Maybe. Oh, I need more of these. It does go there, though. Increase the sensitivity of that. Uh, 
All right, how do we bring you up there? Nah, no, dude. And throw. Number the two. One more. Where could this last one be? Oh, there it is. Go. Woo. Wonder if I can just toss it in there. Shoop. Ah, uh, too far. Far out. Is this just more clothing? It is. Okay. What's this? It's kind of lame. <gasps> There's probably a chum egg around here. Where's my bike? The opposite side. We gotta climb though. There is a chum egg over here. Of course there wait no, I'm just I got tricked by the background. You learn to fly. Whoa, what's that? Big tree. I think it's a tree. It is a tree. All right, give me something. Fish, fish, fish. What's this? Stormfish. Oh, that's a new one. Anyway. We have somewhere to go. Oh, I think that's where we need to go. Where's the balloon? Not so a balloon.
I've lost sight of the balloon. Unfortunate. Pomegranate. Ecria. 20. Wait, is that the temperature? Or is it actually like eight? But it says sun. Why is there sun? Machinist? Bike merchant. Avid. Need something fast, reliable? Both? Neither? We've got all sort of bike parts just for you, Glider. I would like to trade with you. Fancy. Uh, oh, what's that? I might want these. What's going on? Power in town is down. Pays to have a quick ride out right now. Lots of folks are looking to head out if, if things don't get back to normal soon. Take care. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh no, what am I going to do? They've lost power- Oh my god, camera, please! The lost power in town, the merchants have started hiking their prices and now I can't afford my tea. Chicken? Chicken! I wanna pet the chicken. The whole of Ecria is on edge. Not good for business, I tell ya. Even my regulars are coming now. Ah, oh, what's going on? There's a, been a bit of a ruckus around the power supply into the town. Uh, there ain't none. Rumors of all sort going around. Maybe it was the merchants in the market. Maybe it was an outsider. I'm sure the townies would love to blame us, Sarai. Luckily, outsider business for fruit is still going. A bit slower, but Sarai don't have to worry about much. Too much about power out here. Goodbye. What? What if I want to buy something? What? Melancholy mushroom? <laughs> Tastes quite nice despite the miserable name. Can I sell? I can sell. So that's what these are for. Thank you. Oh, ha! Hello? Garai is a climber in Ekria. He smells awful and his mask is about to fall off. I like his mask. I can't interact with him anymore. You, Glider! My name is Mass. I have a prowl and I wonder if you could help me. He has a voice like burnished steel. Despite the softness, he tries to inject on his entreaty. The tone of a man more used to orders than requests. I gesture for him to continue. I can at least hear him out. It's my son, he sighs. He's being held by the Ecri Ecri Ecrine Guard. They caught him tampering with the water supply. He puts up a hand to reassure me before I can speak any doubt. He was only trying to tap the supply, not taint it. He aimed to bring us a better source of water, one that would benefit us immensely. That is that really a crime? By Ecrine law, this is illegal, yes. 
But if we followed Acrine law, we would all die of thirst waiting on some functionary to make the slightest effort. He sighs and crosses his arms, taking a step back. And it's hard to tell if he is already defeated or just trying to tamp down some rising hope. I won't work to convince you. If it sounds like too much, I understand, but someone needs to stand against this. And for several reasons, it cannot be me. Not this time. Can you help? Uh, sure. I'm not sure what to ex why I expect, but the solemn nod I received catches me off guard. He steps closer to me and plays a hand on my shoulder. There's something else. Something you must know, and that I hope will not break the bond we've made. Have you ever heard the tale of the Shade of Ecria? No. The Shade of Ecria? A hero of the people, and a bane to those who would subjugate them. Dark as the night itself, smooth as black silk, and fueled by the flames of vengeance, a legend in this wretched city. Tough to ask the guard, or those who lie in their pockets, the shade is a menace and a smuggler. Though, to ask the guards, I ask what he thinks. I think he was a man doing his best to right the wrongs of the powerful, but I might be biased. I am the shade of Ecria. I barely have time to look impressed before he adds, And for today, so are you. What? When I retired, I hid the mask of the shade, but even though the shade was gone, the rumors, the legend persisted. A glider could not convince the guards to free my son, but the shade? Oh, the mere sight of him. They are liable to give you whatever you want. Mess points at a marking on a nearby wall. You see this? Head to the town gate and look for this symbol. Who would lead you to the mask. Collect the mask and return to me, then we stage the rescue. Farewell, glider. What what mark? What's the symbol I'm looking for? That chicken. Go and retrieve the mask. Is that it? Is that the symbol I'm looking for? Ooh, cool bike. Mm. Ooh, the frame right. Where could the symbol be? I wonder if I have to climb. Oh, this is water? Okay. Dude, I'm getting so hungry. Is any of these open? This one? Well, it's not open, but there's a chum egg right here. Yeah! Entirely sure if I should be swimming like this. Can I climb here? Bye, bird. Mm. Hi. I meet a chime maker called Anne. Oh, you have the husk that I Ifa promised me. Here's a little something for your trouble. Farewell, glider. Money? 
Uh, which is about Aeon's work. Farewell glider, okay. I thought maybe you would sell something. I make the best glass the side of C split. Well, normally I do, at least. The power cut has put my workshop completely out of commission. I need my furnace to work. This is like casting little pots and sa pots and sand. I got a terrible backlog of orders already. Bike parts, ships, pots, architecture, you name it. I'm looking for a mask. All right. Hmm. Is this a... What's this? A rocket? Is this how I'm supposed to get in? Head to the town gate. Look for the mark. Where is the town gate? Is this the town gate? This looks like a garage. Did I go the complete opposite way of where I was supposed to go? Probably. That is probably where the town gate is. Hello, guards? No? Okay. Is that just a prison cell? What's that? Problem is, I'm not sure what mark I'm looking for. This is how I'm supposed to get in. <laughs> oh, that's the mark, right? I guess I'm right. Oh, never mind. I don't think I was supposed to climb up there. Yes. Hello. The guard towers over me. I can't tell if I've somehow committed some kind of transgression as he looks me over. He seems to be contemplating a decision of some sort. He mutters something un unintelligible under his breath. Uh, hello? He seems to refocus as I speak, as if remembering that I am a living being. You'll do. I have something in mind for you. Let's make good use of you. What the fuck? Me? I ask him how. Well, you're a glider. By your very nature, an outsider. You belong to nothing and to no one. And therefore, you are capable of an uncommon objective. I wonder if I should share my myriad of popular, unpopular, or deeply subjective opinions, but decide to spare him. He seems to have much more to say. My name is Sandip, and I'm in the middle of a very serious investigation. 
There are few I can trust. You may have noticed that. We find ourselves without power, yes? Uh, yes. This is now accident. Someone stole the power core from out of the atomic heart. And the perpetrator eludes me still. I thought perhaps you might be able to help me solve this crime and bring the thief to justice. I'll help. I've already begun to picture myself darting in and out of the shadows, tracking the elusive power thief through the city. In my mind, I am swiftness and smoke, a creature of cunning and dexterity. The then Sandip hands me a rusted heap. This is an old power core. Scrap, really. But if you bring this to the mach machinist for me, he can fix it and we can get this town going again. But while you're there, I want you to ask if he has any idea who might have who might want to steal something like this, and why? I'd ask myself, but... Uh, you need to keep the investigation quiet? You get it. I see I've made the right choice. Report back when you've taken care of this. Yes, I'll be waiting. I say goodbye to Sandip. Alright, we need to find that thing, though. This is the mark. And there's the mark again. I guess I just follow these. Yep. Where to from here? Mm. Oh, there it is. And then... Well, there's nowhere to go but this way? Funny guy. I guess I'm wrong. Do I actually climb up here? Well, I find some egg. nest I don't know if this was the right way huh. oh it probably was not the right way. There's nowhere else to go, though. No, I don't want to climb. Am I supposed to be all right? Oh, well, that's funny. I thought maybe it would be here in the nest, but it's not. <laughs> oh. 
Mouse. I feel like I'm probably supposed to be able to see the next mark from where the previous one is, but... Don't see nothing. Do I climb that? That's too high. There's no way I can make this climb. Don't climb. Just stand here. Don't climb. I don't think we make it up there. Golly. Maybe if I jump first. Maybe? 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 Yes? What purpose do we have to be here? No idea. Probably none. I'm not making it up there, am I? I am. Oh, come on. I'm not even supposed to be here. Wait, is the mask... Nah, it's not here. There's nothing here. <gasps> I see. I see. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. How far am I? How many more of these are there? Where is the next one? God damn it. I keep trying. To jump. While climbing. <sighs> Have I not been here before? I mean, I wasn't looking for the markings, though. Well, that's where I went down. Oh. Where's our next mark? I don't see no marks from here. Oh! That's a mark. That's kind of hard to see, actually. Alright, the next one is right there. Oh, 
Just, oh, and there's one over there. You know, he could have just told me where it was. This fucking guy, dude. He sends me on a treasure hunt. And there's another one. Okay, I'm supposed to go in here? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was very silly. And uh, probably my least favorite errand so far. There's a chum egg over there, though. Do the hustle. Chum egg. Pog egg. All right, let's go back with this old man. Hey, bike. Can you come over here? That would be nice. Come on. Wee. Am I just too close to it? How does the whistle work? I show Mass his old mask. He barely reacts, but then gently takes it from me and holds it up so that he and his younger self are nose to nose. He chuckles. I can see why they feared me. It's beautiful. He hands it back quicker than he took it, stopping a daydream before it starts. When you wear the mask of the shade, there is no greater ally than darkness and dread. Wait until nightfall, then proceed to the guard station. Be as quiet as you can and evade their eyes until the moment you must strike. Then, when the time is right, he hisses the last spit, dripping with venom. Show them the shade. I shiver. Put the shade mask on and let me know when you're ready to do this. Farewell, glider. Alright. I might just stop here. It's late. I'm hungry. And it's late. Is there a save or is it just auto save? Hopefully all my stuff is saved. Uh -huh, show credits. Oh save. I'm blind. Yes. Alright. Oh my goodness. I need to get some food. <laughs> I'm gonna leave. Have a good night. Thanks for coming. If anybody's still around. If not, well, I'm talking to nobody. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.